Could Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes provide a surprise in qualifying? Were Ferrari and Sebastian Vettel going to continue the promise from Friday? And did Red Bull have what it took to get pole position? Find out in today's video. And this qualifying session was massively decided by the weather. It was damp, then it was dry, then it was wet, then it was very wet. But through it all we got a surprise as Lewis Hamilton claimed pole position. Hamilton's on pole from Bottas in 2nd, Raikkonen in 3rd, Sebastian Vettel in 4th and Carlos Sainz is 5th. Then it's Gasly 6th, Verstappen in 7th, Hartley in 8th, Magnussen 9th and Grosjean in 10th. Then P11 to P15 is Fernando Alonso, Daniel Ricciardo, Nico Hülkenberg, Marcus Ericsson and Lance Stroll. With Van Dorn, Leclerc, Ocon, Perez and Sorokin rounding out the field. So first, let's go on to those top three teams and see how they got on. Realistically, nobody thought the Mercedes would get a 1-2 in qualifying, because their car in practice on Friday was nowhere near the pace. But of course, in the wet, when you have Lewis Hamilton at the wheel, anything is possible. And he made pole position possible with a fantastic final lap in qualifying and was great in the session. And when it comes to the championship, this could be Lewis Hamilton's most important pole yet. Because as we know, this track is very hard to overtake on and I don't see his championship rival being able to pass him. And as long as tomorrow he gets a good start, I think Lewis will beat Vettel in tomorrow's race. And of course, a shout out to Valtteri who also did very well in the wet conditions and just missed out on pole. As unfortunately for Valtteri, his teammate is just way too good in wet conditions. But still, out qualifying the two Ferraris is still a great job. And if the two Mercedes get a good start to tomorrow's Grand Prix, I don't see how they won't win the race. Because at times at this circuit, it can be sometimes impossible to pass. So it's all looking good for the Silver Arrows. But for their championship rivals Ferrari, the news is not good. After what happened in the last race at Hockenheim, they had to respond at this race. And through practice, it looked like Ferrari were going to do that and looked like they were certain for pole position. But not for the first time and certainly not for the last, Ferrari did not produce when it all mattered. Kimi was on provisional pole position for a time in Q3 but just did not hook up his last lap. And again, considering they were so quick on Friday, this is a disaster. Because their championship rivals who are not supposed to be good at this circuit have a 1-2 and are going to be hard to pass. And that's why for me the start of the race tomorrow is crucial because if they do not get a good start I don't see how they beat Mercedes. So for tomorrow's race the pressure is really on. For Red Bull though this was an absolute unmitigated disaster. Ever since practice 1 this car has just got worse and worse and worse and worse. And at this type of circuit that is just not good enough because this does suit the Red Bull car. And what made it worse is when it started raining you expected Red Bull to be even better. But no, they actually got worse and I don't understand this. Just where was the Red Bull wet weather pace, I don't know. And for me this just makes tomorrow's race a write off and a 5th and 6th place finish. The car is definitely fast enough to get past those midfield teams but it's not quick enough to beat Mercedes or Ferrari, it just isn't. And considering they were expected to be good here this has to be one of their worst weekends of 2018. But enough of the top teams, let's check in with the midfield teams and see how they did. For McLaren, I think they did the best they really could have done. And I do think McLaren got a bit lucky considering the weather was constantly changing. But in the wet, they could not get into Q3 with Fernando Alonso basically because of bad timing. Because basically in Q2, Alonso missed the best of the conditions which is why he finished in P11. So maybe he could have gone to Q3 but I still kind of doubt that. But in tomorrow's race, I would not be surprised if Fernando did score points because he is very good at this track. And hopefully for McLaren, there is chaos ahead. Qualifying for Carlos Sainz in the Renault was absolutely fantastic. Qualifying fifth in the wet and showing why he is such a good driver. And to be honest, when it does tend to rain, he does also show up. So again, showing how good he is. And I think with the pace of the car, he should hold on to that best of the rest tag through the Grand Prix. But for Nico Hülkenberg, very much like Fernando Alonso, he basically just missed the best of the conditions in Q2. But like Carlos Sainz, I do think he has a car that is the best of the rest, so he can still easily get back into those points. So I'd say for Renault, it was a mostly good day. 
After what's been a very controversial weekend, it just did not get any better in qualifying for Force India. Last night they were put into administration and that clearly had an effect on them in today's qualifying. And no matter really if it was dry or it was wet, they were always going to be slow because the Force India around this track is just not good. And unless something crazy happens in tomorrow's race, I do not see how Force India will score points in really what could be the last ever race in F1. Despite Lance Stroll doing well to get into Q2, nothing really happened here for Williams. And after Lance Stroll got into Q2, he crashed and broke his front wing, so there was nothing much he could do. And very much like Force India, unless something crazy happens, I don't see how they score points. The wet conditions was exactly what Toro Rosso needed for a great qualifying. With Gasly doing so well in P6 and also Brendan Hartley in P8. And I'm especially happy for Hartley because he deserves it after so much bad luck and after putting so much hard work in. And the good thing for Toro Rosso is that I think they can maintain that kind of pace in tomorrow's Grand Prix. Maybe not with Pierre Gasly beating Max Verstappen but definitely scoring points with both of their cars. And at this point if I was Toro Rosso I'd be disappointed if we didn't score points with both cars. So finally, some good news for Toro Rosso. I guess for Haas, they did do well to get into the top 10 in Q3, but after that, they couldn't do anything else. Because the car in wet conditions is nowhere near as good as it is in dry. And there was clear evidence of that in Q3, where they were miles off Sainz, Gasly and Brendan Hartley. But if it is dry in tomorrow's race, I see Haas scoring points with both cars because they are quick. And as long as they don't have any issues and they don't throw away any points, I do think they're going to have a good race. They just have to pray that there is no rain. No matter if it was wet or dry, it was always going to be poor for Sauber. Because really all weekend, dry or wet, they have been quite slow. I think Charles Leclerc could have done a bit better to get out of Q1, but that's just the way it goes. And Ericsson did well to get into Q2, but just like Hulkenberg, Alonso and Ricardo did not favour from the conditions. So for Salva, there's nothing really else they could have done. But that is it for qualifying, and what a frantic qualifying session it was. Positions constantly changing around, and the weather constantly changing as well. It would certainly be great if we got that in tomorrow's race. Because if it is dry, I don't really see us having a good race. So if enough of us pray for rain, maybe we can get some. Because if we do, I promise that tomorrow's race will be absolutely brilliant. But anyway guys, that has been it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget guys, I will be back tomorrow with a race watch along and a race reaction live stream tomorrow on Sunday. And as well, if you want to join the Chaz HDF1 Discord server, the link to that is down in the description, also with my Twitter. Comment down below what you thought of this video and comment down below what did you think of qualifying for the 2018 Hungarian Grand Prix. Please comment down below what you think about those topics and until next time it's been me Chazzer HD, goodbye.